look at some parts that I got in. We get the car back from getting painted, the engine bay at least. Get to see the color finally. And uh, we'll look at into the boxes that I got, see what kind of parts. Got the power pack. Still waiting on the headers. Those should be here soon. Now once the headers are here, engine and the engine harness shows up, which is Monday, we'll be able to pretty much put everything onto the motor and be able to put it into the car. That's the, the big that's the big exciting step finally see it in the car. Got the valve covers off right now getting painted. So everything's coming together. There's a lot of parts, a lot of, a lot of moving pieces, transmissions getting rebuilt. So I gotta I gotta light a fire under his ass to get it done. Um, but exciting stuff. Hoping to get it into the car soon. Uh, there'll definitely be a video on that see how we do it there's multiple ways of doing it but I'm here in my home garage there's only so many options I don't have a lift I could bring it to work and do it on a lift but I don't want to do that I'd rather show you that anybody can do it in their garage with basic tools with a little bit of help and uh, just being careful it's the most important part so stick around and uh, thanks for watching all right, so we got some more parts here. Just came in the mail. We got some of these uh, Prothane uh, motor mounts for the modular motors. Bolts right up to the Coyote. Goes right into your factory K-member or the upgraded tubular one that you can get. What else we got? We got the, uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around here. So you don't have to get this style but uh, overflow tank. This one handed. Overflow tank, you got the Mishimoto one. This is for a 2015 to 20 S550. And it's a nice piece. It's got a nice sight glass on the side. It uses your factory cap. You can get a nice one if you want. Um, but this is small, small and compact compared to the factory one that is ginormous and takes up a lot of space. So with the Coyote, you know, uh, room is tight. Uh, so that's just a nice affordable piece. Here's the big, the big money maker. The important part. This is the power pack from Ford Performance. I got this through power by the hour. Now they are generation specific and transmission specific, manual or auto. This is the Gen 2 kit for a manual transmission. So all in, I opened it yesterday but didn't really touch anything. Comes with your electronic gas pedal, uh, drive by wire. This is out of an actual S550 Mustang. So we're gonna pair this with this piece here is a piece, it's your pedal adapter. So this piece here is going to bolt into your your car. It's going to go onto where your factory pedal was. And then this guy is going to bolt on over it. And that makes it simple. It puts it in the right position and it, it's, it's a nice fit, nice piece comes with this is a section of the lower radiator hose you kind of have to use the the other one from your car or go get one somewhere this is the the body harness the control pack it's got the fuse box in there all sorts of wiring if you look in here every piece is individually tagged so you know where it goes it makes it easy all the directions are online comes with this big probably a 250 amp mega fuse you want to run that for everything just to protect it it's battery powered comes with two front o2 sensors here's one of the pcv hoses or crankcase vent it comes with a factory airbox now 
a lot of vehicles, a lot of applications, you're not going to be able to fit it in the car or you just don't want to. But it does come with it. And the other piece is here. Now here's your factory air box. It has a mass airflow on it. Now, I did a Gen 1 Coyote swap on an 80 Mustang. I'll try to find some pictures. But uh, on that one, we were able to shorten up the, the intake tube and kind of massage some metal away. And we were able to get the stock airbox in that car. And it looked pretty factory. I liked the way it looked. Um, but that's not, you know, a lot of people don't like that. This car that we're doing now, we're going to be using a Power by the Hours Universal intake kit. I actually have it over here. So... Parts coming from everywhere. So I think that that's what this is. Yep. So we'll pull this out here. This is Powered by the Hours Universal Intake Kit for the Coyote Swap. So it's got this one piece of 4 inch, 3 inch, something like that. It's got the 90 degree throttle body. <clears throat> coupler and what else we got this is something separate <clears throat> excuse me this is your constant duty solenoid for the fans that we'll be wiring in just because they draw a lot of a lot of amperage this kit also comes with you know, a nice k and air filter over here we have the mass airflow We got the nice mass airflow piece and then some clamps. And pretty straightforward, but takes a lot of the, lot of the headache out of it. If you're going to try to piece one together, they have one all ready to go. <clears throat> and then finishing up in here, this is your upper radiator hose. Now this has the Quick Connect factory forward fitting. That's gonna go, let's see if I have it on the motor right now, nope. So <clears throat> in this box is your thermostat housing. So this sits on the motor like this. Your upper radiator hose is gonna go in here, quick and easy. Goes right to your factory location radiator. This will be your lower. Lower is a normal clamp style. You can use a worm gear or a constant tension. The other one's a quick connect. If you don't want to run this, if you're doing it, say, if you're making the swap, another, another vehicle, different application, they make an adapter that goes onto this thermostat housing that replaces the quick connect fitting with a normal, a normal outlet like the, the lower radiator hose here and you can put a normal hose on there with a clamp. Last in this power pack box, this is a PCM. This is a Gen 2 manual, so that's why there's spots for two plugs instead of three. If you had an auto, there'd be a third one. But factory Ford piece. And then these are just two uh, brake clutch switches. And those are you know, pretty simple to, it's part of the instructions, but that's the power pack. This is the big, the big portion of it, which uh, when I go to install it, I'll make a different video on it. What else did we get? Let's see. Over here we've got 
nice fuel pressure regulator. There will be plumbing, some fittings in there, some nice Dash 6 Vibrant Nylon Hose. This is my favorite stuff to use. Got the Deutsch Works 340 LPH fuel pump. We'll be dropping the tank and putting that in there. And here's the starter. Clutch flywheel. Got a box here I haven't opened yet. I can't remember what's in here. Made in China, that's always good. I think this is going to be the... Yeah. So that's the propane transmission mount. It's going to replace our factory worn out soft rubber one. Here we got... First off, this is for the SN95 cars. Maximum Motorsports piece. It, uh, it adjusts your clutch pedal down more even with the other pedals. If you ever looked at a factory S550 car, the clutch pedal sits extremely high and it can be annoying to drive. So, as you can see, the pedals are pretty even. Now factory, factory, this clutch pedal would sit about, you know, three quarters of an inch higher and be higher above the brake pedal. And the, the gas pedal on these cars has a lot of slack. So I have a spacer behind the behind the cable there. A lot of people do. But it makes it so much easier to drive. Uh, easier to heel toe if you want to. Um, but just more comfortable. This actually adjusted down. And then for the owner, he didn't have one already. Is an adjustable quadrant firewall adjuster and a new cable. All pretty affordable stuff. Here's the quadrant. We'll be putting that in the car, being able to adjust the clutch pedal and stuff, especially with an aftermarket clutch and everything, it's going to be nice. There's that. Had some other things show up. Can't quite remember where I put them. This is the uh, EGR, or EVAP, I'm sorry, EVAP block off plate on top of the factory intake manifold. Got some motor mount shims here to clear the factory oil pan. All right guys, so we got the car back in the garage. Fresh from the edge of it getting painted. She is beautiful, love the color. Here's a little, uh, you know, it's in the garage so it's not in direct sunlight, but we got a little portion of it in the sun. So, step out of the way. But this is the color. It's a brandy wine candy over black. So the video doesn't do it any justice, obviously with any paint, but she is beautiful. The whole engine bay is done. You know, it's got that flop looking color where in the shade it's really dark, but still pretty. And then in the sun, you know, it, it glows. It's gorgeous. So the whole car will be painted this, but for now, Here's the car. She's ready for some uh, some reassembly, and then the fun start be the fun stuff begins. Thanks, guys. Just wanted to say thank you, guys. Uh, everybody who's supported me so far, helping me make these videos. It's a learning process, but uh, I think I'm I'm getting better at it. Uh, thanks for the nice comments, the subscriptions, everything. You know, it makes me want to keep going and documenting this stuff. Uh, just, me sitting here editing a video, trying to get it you know, nice and easy to watch. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.